حركة الواد تبدو هكذا أضع ساقية هنا ثم أخرج هذا الساقية الأخرى من الوسط هكذا تماما فكما ترى فهي سهلة جدا هكذا إذا إذا كنت لا تعرف القيام بها فاذهب في حال سبيلك Monkey Vault er en af de mest anvendte teknikker i parkour, fordi den er så effektiv og nemt kan kombineres med mange andre parkourbevægelser. I Monkey Vault sætter man af for enten et eller to ben. Placerer hænderne lidt bredere end skulderbredde. So the Lazy Vault may not be the fastest vault. But it works great for when you're trying to incorporate flow into a parkour run or combo. Sometimes if you just do a move and land at a weird angle. You're gonna stand up nice and tall, bring your hands up into the air, leaning forward, you're gonna bring the back leg up and you're gonna place your hand on the floor, come up and let your body just follow through. Remember, hand, hand, foot, foot. One more time. This is a basic gymnastic is the kickstop. You're able to absorb the massive amount of forward momentum you have left over from jumping at the wall, and then all you have to do is catch the
hátra felé, mint egy speed step jövünk le a falról. Eleinte helyből, majd fokozatosan egyre nem azt a falon. Underbar er en teknik, man bruger, når man skal igennem en forhindring. Teknikken er ikke særlig svær at lære, men udfordringen afhænger af, hvor smalt et objekt man skal igennem. I underbar sætter man af fra et ben, det andet ben løfter man kraftigt op af, sigter med benene ind igennem objektet, You want to make contact with the wall with your strong Higher than this will make it difficult to push up. Make contact only with the ball of your foot. Many beginners make the mistake of putting their whole foot against the wall because the name screws a lot of people up. You are not running around. So here comes another one of those simple tips that makes a big difference. Kick off of the wall. Don't try to run up it. You want to be generating force. The end of this video is for you to understand how to do this. Remember to stick till the end to get all the tips and tricks. Always warm up before doing any freestyle skills on the bar and don't stress to learn a skill, take one step at a time. If you need better grip, take some chalk and that should help you. handspring in five minutes or less that's right five minutes or less but you got to focus and um, you're just gonna go here you're gonna kick, kick up okay kind of like a hands not gonna go totally over yet <laughs> boom so do that for about 30 okay up depress up okay up depress up you can tuck your head to one side so you roll under your shoulder do it this way roll the other side boom okay down mm. so
Hand rein, geht an die Kante, stoßt euch mit der rechten Hand von der Wand ab, lasst den linken Arm gestreckt und dreht euch dann rüber. Zieht euren Arsch. right into a regular roll. So it goes from here, I dive out. And the same idea. Nice. This just is gonna get her comfortable and prepared to jump backwards and land on feet. She's gonna lean backwards, kick off the floor, and snap down. Nice. Once you become... So she starts, she's gonna use an arm swing, and she's gonna bend her legs, push down, and snap. Nice. After... Arm swing, push off the floor. Nice. And the... الحركة اللي غنتعلمو في هاد الفيديو سميتها ويبستر هي فرون فليب غنتقلب بالقدام ولكن برجل واحدة غنحاولو تعلمو هاد الحركة في جوج خطوات باش تسهل هاد الحركة هي كضرب النص ديال الدورة وانت مازال في الارض كتكون الرجل في الارض ورجل الاخرى ضربات نص الدورة اول حاجة غنديروها هي الفرون هاد سبرين هي غنحط يدي قدامي وغنتقلب نجي واقفة على رجلي في الجهة الاخرى باش نبدا هاد الحركة هي خصني نكون كندير هاند ستاند يعني غنقدر نوقف على يديا غادي نوقف نحط يدي قدامي وغندفع بواحد الرجل اللور ونجي واقف Trying to do it right. I've been living a lonely life. I've been sleeping here instead. I've been sleeping.
up into a handstand, remember take your hand to that point, you're going to start to wean yourself away from the wall or away from your little bit of centre of gravity that you can get used to over time. Kind of still in one place, you have a little bit more room to kind of find your balances. You can shuffle your hands back, you can shuffle them forwards, side to side, and that also helps. their hands up. The problem with this approach is that once you've jumped your body weight past your lead leg, you almost certainly have to use your hands to control the body weight. You'll be focusing on transitioning from your lead leg to your back leg, and as long as you can land your butterfly, you can make a change to your posture gradually to begin more inversion into the move. If you have a fully Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I'll be demonstrating the bar gainer. The first thing you want to focus on when performing a gainer is your flow of momentum. You want to adapt a good tuck while keeping your arms straight when you release from the bar. 
This motion will give you that initial momentum you need to complete the back foot gainer. Once initiated, keep your arms straight until you come straight and tuck in a ball. These three components will help you achieve a perfect gainer each time. Practice makes perfect. Все пройти, я выдержу от пути
you'll be using. Now, again, doing the same thing, but practice doing a back somersault with just a swing of the hand, but to push off with the one hand away from it. So therefore, you will learn how to connect the hand push and the backflip together. My name's Matt. Stepping slowly with your knees bent, you push up from the floor, push away, not too in the air. Stay nice and tightly tugged with chin to chest. The tighter you are tugged, and out. Okay, peoples, guess who's back as usual? You're gonna warm up your muscles, and we don't wanna tear nothing. Okay, so now we're gonna be stretching. Stretch your split the split. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, we are going to be stretching the bridge. Now, of straightening your, your legs. Also, do not forget to stretch out your onkels, the extra little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, now we before we start, you gotta have your front walk. Practice jumping into a cartwheel and put your hands on the floor just to get used to pushing off the front leg as that's where the height comes from. A key tip is to think about whipping your legs around really fast. Also, please remember that this is not a skill for beginners and if you are trying this and you feel like you're not going to make it around, make sure that you put your hands on the floor as you
you're not sure how to do a cartwheel half or if you're just looking for some tips on the move, hopefully this video can help. And if you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave a comment down below so I can help you out. And safely figure out which way you're going to turn into a rock. As you do this, set more like a backflip before you initiate your Arabian. As so. Hey everybody, welcome to my loser flip tutorial. With some practice and dedication, you too can master this skill. So let's get started. By the way, it's called a loser flip because you're losing ground as you travel backwards when you're doing the flip. When learning a standing gainer on flat ground, Getting distance isn't very important, as long as you start off at a distance that you are comfortable at ...what this move looks like. Yeah. And remember those things. Reach forward, pull the kick down, and reach forward.
اذا كما ترون اعزائي فهذه هي هذا هو الموقع فكما ترون هذه هي اسماء الحركات التي عليك ان تتعلمها يا صديقي هذه الكثير من الحركات التي يمكنك ان تتعلمها كثير من الحركات كما نلاحظ هنا لدينا امام كل حركه هناك رمز هناك رمز بين ان و ب و ا و او و او بلس اذا ماذا تعني هذه الرموز هذا هو يعني الرمز يعني المستوى الاول لاصحاب الحزام الاصفر يرمز لها الحركات بحرف ان الموجوده هنا ثم لدينا المستوى الثاني بالحزام البرتقالي المستوى الثاني بحرف ب على كل اصحاب الحزام البرتقالي تعلم حركات الحرف ب ثم لدينا حركات الليفل 3 المستوى الثالث للحزام الاخضر عليهم تعلم الحركات التي يرمز لها بالحرف اي ثم لدينا المستوى الرابع للحزام الازرق الذين عليهم تعلم حركات المستوى ا الموجوده في هذا الموقع ثم الحزام الاحمر وهو المستوى الخامس والذي يرمز للحركات ب او ثم الاخير الحزام الاسود وايضا الحزام الذهبي بالمستوى السادس ويرمز اليهم ب حرف او بلس حرف او بلس اذا هذا هو امانا اعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الاعجاب والاشتراك في القناه